I am back with, yes, another haul. Um, I have a Sephora haul. Um, I decided that my Christmas present to me this year um, would be a Sephora haul. Um, they have been shipping to Norway for over a year. This is the first time I'm doing it. So, let that be said, we got a big box over here that I've had for uh, almost two weeks now. So, I, I have I've been trying some more than others. So I'll tell, tell you guys my first impressions as we go. Um, there are a few things that I didn't get from Sephora. Um, that I got from a chain called Douglas, which is like the German Sephora. Um, um, but I th I'm pretty sure you can get everything at Sephora. Um, it's just a few things, but I thought that I would include those as well, just for fun. Because just I'm not gonna do a whole haul for just four things from one store. So, um, well, I got some really good things, and let's just jump into the box, and I'll show you what I got and. Tell you guys about it and everything. So um, I'm aware I'm wearing a lot of the things. Uh, one of the things is the lipstick that I got. Um, I've, I've, I'm pretty new to um, Too Faced, but I really wanted to try out their melted liquefied long wear lipsticks. I've been hearing good things about these, um, and some people are like eh, about them. Some people are obsessed with them thought that I would finally get one. I got the color Melted Peony. It is what I'm wearing. It's a cute pink. Um, it's like a nudie pink. It does come across pretty pink on me since I am so pale. It would probably, if, if you were more of a normal skin tone, it would probably be a, a, a nudie shade. Um, I've been talking, this is my third video filming right now, so I've been talking for quite a while. I think it's still, I think it still looks normal. I like it so far. Um, it's not too glossy. I did apply this without a lip liner today. I'm hoping it looks alright. And the only thing that I definitely don't like is the applicator, because it's kind of like a weird spongy thing, which is definitely unhygienic. You, these are not going to be in your collection for years. That's that's sad. But I really like this so far. I really want to try out more of these, but I'm not sure about the color. Colors. Well, I'm sure about this. I absolutely love this color. <laughs> um, but I want to try out some more of these. Um, I got two more things from Too Faced. Let's just get those out of the way. Um, I decided the reason why this whole haul came to be because I had this thought from I don't know where that I would intrigue myself to a new eyeshadow palette. Um, because I hardly ever have any, I usually just stick to my MAC shadows. I have a big palette that I've put together myself. That's basically what I use 99% of the time. And I was thinking, well, when did I last last get an eyeshadow palette um, and I did get one two years ago that I'd sold because I only wore it once and I was like hmm, this is not really happening so my last eyeshadow palette that I bought and kept is the naked one that I got in 2011 I was like wow I really shouldn't feel bad if I buy one more I thought about it long and hard and I ended up with this brand new Too Faced um, Chocolate Bonbons palette. Um, all of the chocolate pal palettes look really cool. I really want to try out all of them. Um, I swatched the two regular ones when I went to London. And they seem really nice. Um, but there's something about the colors of this. And maybe the fact that it's pink. I decided to go for this. But it, it's a bit dirty because I did, of course, use it today. This is what it looks like. Eh. Yeah, I showed us our little hearts. It's kind of cute. I'm going to be honest. I don't love it. And it got a little bit dirty when I used it. But um, I did swatch it on my hands when I got it. I wasn't, like, super impressed. But when I used it right now, I was much more impressed. So the shades that I'm wearing, I'm wearing this um, Cashew Chew as an eyeshadow base. 
I'm using this almond truffle for almond truffle for my transition shade. For my crease, I'm using this beautiful reddish kind of brown called Bordeaux. And then all over my lid, I'm wearing this molasses chip. And I have a tiny bit of this Cafe Ole in the middle of my lid just to make, try and make it pop a little bit. I'm not sure if it works or not. And then as a highlight, I have this satin sheets. So, so far, really loving it. Um, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a review of this. Oh my god, I hope you can see everything. This is what it looks like. People say that it smells like cocoa. I think it kind of has a vanilla-y, chocolate vanilla-y type of scent. It, it smells really good, I'm going to be honest. I was sure that I would be disgusted, but... I kind of really like it. And then the last Too Faced item that I got was one that had been on my wish list forever. I finally picked up the Better Than Sex Mascara. I really needed a new one. People haven't heard anything about this for I don't even know how many years. Um, um, so I finally got it. First of all, the packaging is so freaking cute. I love the packaging. It's, it's pink. I love everything pink. I've um, used this a few times. This is a brush. It's kind of like an hourglass brush. Hope you can see that. Um, we used it a few times. So far, I really liked it. I will say that it reminds me a whole lot of my Holy Grail mascara, the Guerlain Sils Uh It's called the Maxi Lash in English. They're pretty darn similar. Um, uh, they give beautiful volume, bordering on like fake looking crazy like almost it's not spider lashes it's still it's it's just before it starts looking creepy but it has that really beautiful full volume it's not a lot of separation but it has volume um um they do this maybe gives a little bit more volume than the girl on one um and then but this is a tiny bit harder to work with um, but just give it like two more seconds and the results are wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm not wearing this today because I thought it would be too much with my fake lashes, which uh, we will get to in a second. Um, but so far I really like it. The only thing that I don't like is the size of the brush is a little too big because I usually just use the same mascara on my top and bottom lashes. This brush is a little bit big for my bottom lashes. I don't have a lot so I can't use anything too big but like I really like it. I'm really pleased with the purchase. So since I mentioned the lashes, let's, let's do the lashes. I've been hearing about these for forever and then I saw Tiffany D, one of my favorite YouTubers doing a Sephora haul. She had ordered some of these and I was like, I need to get them. She had actually ordered this exact pair. I was going to get another another pair, but they looked so good on her. They are the, I'm, I'm not sure if it's Huda or Huda um, Beauty Lashes. I got the number 10. They are called Alana. They're not in the box, but I'll try to insert a clip of what they look like in the box. I'm wearing them. Hopefully they look, they look good. I think those, I think they look a little bit crazy. Um, they're not like a huge curve on them, that, but they are really long. Um, but like a meter or two away, I was like, wow, <laughs> those are hot. Um, I got well. Tiffany D said like her favorite lashes are the same as mine. The Ardell to 120 or the Demi Wispies. These are a whole lot more lashes. They are super glam, super sexy. I really like them. Um, I was really surprised about how thick the like ribbon is, because um, the Demi Wispies just have like little silicone one. This is huge. Okay. But, like, I can feel them on. Um, I think I did application a little bit better on this one than on this eye, but I didn't want to take it off. Um, and they are a bit more comfortable on the eye that I feel went all right. It's not, it's not as bad as, it, as you, you would think. Um, so I love these so far. They're, they're sexy, that's what I'm going to say. Um, I really want to try some more of those Huda Lashes. Um, so, um, let's move on. I have a few more item, items right here. 
Let's do, let's do these first. They're kind of falling out. Um, right now some hair clips. Um, there are four in the pack, but have, they're kind of left everywhere. These are the Sephora brand Hold It Together Blow Dry, blow dry Clips. And why I was really interested in these is because, well, I have super thick hair. And they have kind of like an extra joint. So if you're like me, you have super thick hair. Um, they, like the regular clips will kind of hold like this. And then you'll have that whole thing. Um, but these kind of bend like that. So I really like them. I think they were nine bucks for a set of four. You can get them... Um, from Sephora has the dry bar ones as well. I think they're exactly the same, but yellow and more expensive. So, I mean, it's not very exciting, exciting, but I'm liking those. I also got a deodorant. I got, this is the La Vanilla, the healthy deodorant in this scent, Vanilla Coconut. This is another recommendation from Tiffany D. I swear, like her recommendations are, are always spot on which is one of the reasons she's my favorite um i've tried the one that's like well i think it's pure vanilla a few times um i did have the um little mini one you can get you can buy the pure vanilla one just that one in a mini size i had that this summer and let me tell you this is a natural deodorant it's not an, an, an antiperspirant but it does work. The thing is, you have to use it twice a day. Morning and night, you can't just use it once a day, uh, twice a day, and it does work. It is crazy how something natural and not antiperspirant-y can have such an effect. Um, well, mainly, mainly on smell, because you're still gonna sweat, because there's nothing to stop you from perspiring. Perspiring. Um, uh, I've used this for like half a week now. The thing is, when I used the Pure Vanilla one, um, I did get kind of a, not a rash, but like some irritation underneath my armpits. But I'm not sure if, if it was because of the deodorant or it was because of um, my wax. So, um, but I've heard they're different. I actually really prefer the smell of this. It's not coconutty, it's not like a tropical thing at all it smells really good not strong at all i've heard they're really different so i'm gonna tr i'm gonna keep using it um i haven't noticed any redness or anything so far but it's been a while since i had a wax maybe that plays in like more than with a regular deodorant i didn't know um but i will tell you guys about um how it's been working out for me in a future favorites video but so far, so good. We just have a few more Sephora things. Um, I thought when I was buying from Sephora, of course I had to get a Becca highlighter. I've never had them before. You cannot get Becca here. Um, and I really wanted to get Champagne Pop. But then I was watching a video with Nikki Tutorials, who does the best tutorial on YouTube. She is so flawless. Um, so she was talking about how she was too pale for Champagne Pop to be super flawless. But the perfect shade for her, she's super pale, I'm super pale. So usually these, these things work for all those ghosts. Um, so she mentioned the color Pearl that was at that time, um, it had only been in powder form in the Jaclyn Hill Little Trio palette. Um, um, and it was in the like poured, the one that's kind of like creamy one. I definitely prefer um, powder highlighters. But right after that, Pearl became permanent. She recommended that for paler skins and I got it. I am wearing it today. I don't know if I put on enough. I didn't put on crazy amounts. Um, but I don't know. I hope I hope you can see it. I hope it shows. God, I really do. Um, so this is what it looks like. It just looks like a white. This, I think, let me just do like a heavy swatch for you. Um, it is a little bit more powdery than I would have thought, to be honest. It is, it is pale. You can probably see that for sure. Um, it is pale. This is super heavy though. So definitely if you are super pale, but it, I don't think that this is for pale only, but maybe you want to swatch it if you have a darker skin tone, um, because I'm not sure if I want to recommend it for darker skin tones. Um, opal for sure, if you're darker. 
I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if you can see it on my cheeks. You can probably see it on my nose. Um, I could have, I could have worn more today. Um, so my first impression looks good. I only put a little bit on. You could definitely pack on a whole lot more. Um, a little bit powdery, but not like it's not a problem. Um, and then I got two more things from Sephora. Uh, I'll show you this one real quick. This is a Christmas gift, but I did want to include it. It is this beautiful little Sephora palette. Um, I'm, you know, guys know that I'm not a fan of drugstore type of makeup. I kind of, I kind of put Sephora in that same range. But I think a lot of their makeup is really good, especially at the, their eyeshadows. Um, so I got this palette. They always do these like nice little palettes that are the perfect um, Christmas gifts. Um, um, they're not too expensive. They you, you get so much for your money with this. Um, I know it's too late for Christmas gifts right now, but it's never too late for a gift for yourself or to start planning for next year because there's, there's always something similar. Um, so what was I gonna say? I can't even remember. Um, it looks like this, and then it kind of pulls out, not kind of, pulls out, um, to reveal this. It has six beautiful shades, um, a highlighter. This is like a darker, it, I won't call it a bronzer because it has a shimmer. You could use it as a, um, a highlighter, and then a beautiful blush as well. I can just see, ugh, these look so good. Um, the second I got it, I totally regretted not getting one for myself. Maybe next, maybe next year. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when Christmas rolls around. And then the last thing that I got from Sephora, one that had been on my wish list forever. It is the foundation that I'm wearing today. I'm so excited to finally um, get this. It is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. 24 hour wear. Um, it, it says full coverage 24 hour wear, transfer resistant matte finish, fragrance free off, oil, oil free for all skin types. Since it is oil free, it probably won't be perfect for drier skin, um, for everyday wear for drier skin. Um, I have dry skin, I treat it really well, I don't have dehydrated, dehydrated skin, I don't have any dry patches. Um, with a primer, I can usually use whatever I want as long as I don't use it too often or or it will dry me out. But I knew I wanted to try it. I wanted to try a full coverage foundation. I think that's a really nice look for the winter time, kind of go for the por porcelain doll type of thing. I got it in the color Light 42. This is the very lightest shade. Um, on Sephora, this says um, fair skin tones with pink undertones, um, which I'm not huge fan of but on the cat on these side it said it was new it was neutral I'm gonna tell you it is pink like crazy pink at least on the hand I was like holy crap I don't even know if I can wear this but I do not I don't feel pink right now I feel personal porcelainy and beautiful it, I I hope I look as neutral as I feel that's if that makes sense because I, I do have a bit of a pink skin tone, so I don't, I guess, I don't know, I don't like using pink foundations because it just makes me feel more pink. I always go for neutrals. And then, let's see, I don't know what that is. Um, I did apply this with a beauty blender today, um, and I was really surprised that it does not feel thick or heavy or cakey or anything. Um, it looks super natural on the skin, to be honest. Um, you could, of course, you could use it with a brush or something and get um, more thicker. But even though I didn't apply it super thick, I still felt that it evened out really beautifully as a full coverage foundation. So, so far, really excited. That's my first impression from, for, for today. Um, definitely go with a beauty blender if you want a more natural look. Um, and I'm wearing this with the Shantikai HD something something powder. And I think they're they're working well together. Four more things that I did not get from Sephora, but I'm pretty sure you can get every single thing at Sephora. Uh, so first up, I, sh I thought I'd uh, include this one. This is actually one that I got from my husband. It is the Bumble and Bumble Sumo Tech Low Gloss Elix 
elastic molding compound. So it's basically like a wax. Comes in this little very manly looking pot. It looks like I kind of hate that with the man hair products. They always have the black packaging and they always reek like seriously stink. Um, this does not have a man. I don't think it's supposed to be a man product. It has a faint kind of kind of smells like mahogany teak wood candle from Bath and Body Works, but it's very faint. And it looks like this. He used it a few times. I asked him what he thought about it. Um, he has very thick, a little bit coarse hair. He's a natural redhead. Um, so it does get a bit coarse and he has a lot of it. Um, so he needs something that's really going to hold things in place. Um, he said he really liked that about this so far. He's, he's only used it a, it a few times, but he likes it so far. The only thing, he actually thought this smelled a whole lot. He thought this was, had a super strong scent, which I was, I was like, what? What are, you th what are you talking about? You've been using this man products forever and they reek. So he didn't he didn't love the scent. Um, I I cannot smell it on him when he's wearing it. Also, he has um, psoriasis in the back of his head. He said that when he started using this, his psoriasis did act up a little bit, but he he thinks that, that has more to do with him trying something new than the actual product. He says that it has a tendency to act up a little bit whenever you try something new. So if you have psoriasis or very sensitive. Um, scalp, maybe you want to get a, um, um, a, a tester or sample first and maybe check that out, you know, because you got to be careful. Um, I also got a body scrub for myself. I'm like the, the smallest Clinique fan ever. Um, I actually usually hate Clinique, um, but I had a product this summer that I really loved and I thought, you know what, I need a body scrub. Um, I really like the ones that come in a pot, so I thought I'd try this. This is the Clinique Sparkle Skin Spot Body Exfoliating Cream. But there is one reason that I would not be repurchasing this, just letting you guys know, because um, it does contain microplastics, which I'm just learning about. Um, the exfoliants in this the little beads are actual bits of plastic, which doesn't even, it, it sounds gross to begin with, but it is so destructive to our um, oceans and the environment and you know fish eat this little tiny microplastic and that ends up in the in the fish that goes on your table that you eat so not really great I'm just learning about it um I could not find out about the ingredients before I bought it um I don't even know I shouldn't finish it I don't have anything else, but I'm gonna to try to look for something else. Um, if you are curious about microplastics, um, it's the way it's in the list of ingredients. It is polyethylene. So that's a no-no if you're thinking about the environment, which is too bad because it was kind of nice and not that expensive. But will not be repurchasing. Very bad of you, Clinique. Very, very, very uncool. The environment is kind of super important. But, so that's my little life lesson of today. Um, two more things. First of all, is a nail polish that I was so excited about. It is the one that I'm wearing today. Hope it looks good on camera because I absolutely love it. It is the Nails Inc. Victoria Beckham collection that came out this spring or something. Um, this, I just got one of them. I just got the one in the black packaging, which is called VVB, uh, so Victoria, Victoria Beckham, um, Bamboo White. And you can see what it looks like here on the side and on my nails, of course. It is a beautiful, opaque, light nude pink. And I've been searching for the perfect um, light nude pink that is opaque forever because my skin tone especially my hands for some reason are so pink um all these type of nail polishes e either look super beige on me or they look bright bright pink whenever i see a swatch of sc fiji it looks like the perfect shade um i put it on and it's like bright pink it's like 
strawberry ice cream pink. This one I am loving. Um, I did put on three coats of it today. You could probably get away with two if you do thicker coats. Um, it's not the easiest one to work with uh, that I've ever tried, but far from the toughest one. Totally worth it because it looks so gorgeous. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm not sure if you can get the single one from Sephora still online. Maybe in store if they sell nails ink near you, but they still have the set that includes this and the Judo Red, which is like the orangey red, like poppy red type color that she also did. So make sure you check that out if you're super pale and you've been looking for that perfect new pink. Um, and then the single last thing, I'm so glad because I'm getting so thirsty. Um, I needed a new serum in my life. I feel that I've reached that age where I really need a serum in my skincare routine. And this is like probably the most popular um, serum in the world. I've been wanting to try it out for ages. I finally did. It's not even that expensive especially like you guys know that I love my La Mer. Um, I've been loving SK2 lately, La Prairie um, so but here it is because their serums are insanely expensive like they're really good but they're insanely expensive so I thought that I would finally try the Estee Lauder uh, Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 so I guess this is like a newer version of it this is the only one I can get even though it says 2 um, I got the 50 milliliter size. You guys have all seen this, I'm sure, unless you've been living in a cave. Um, so I've been using this for about a week now. It's too early to tell you guys that, like, of any results. It's too, too early to see it. Um, my first impressions is that I really like it. Um, I haven't had any trouble with my sensitive skin with this. Um, and... A very important thing for me, I have to say, it works so well with Creme de la Mer. If you try that, you know that um, your face has to be completely dry before you apply your Creme de la Mer, or it would just kind of slip around and not work properly. Um, but this just kind of, it doesn't even dry down, but it still works. They are great together, so I'm really excited. Hoping I see some results. My main problems are, um, Scarring and pigmentation after pimples and dullness. I'm really excited and I'm gonna tell you guys uh, in a while how it's been working out for me. So that was a long haul. I have so much fun stuff. Um, I hope you like this. Let me know if you guys want to know more about a certain product. If you want to see a review, a review video, something like that. Um, hope you've been having a good day. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Remember that I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Bye.